Hey everyone, let's solve question 1204, last person to fit a bus. The question says, there is a queue of people waiting to board a bus. However, the bus has a weight limit of 1000 kgs. So there may be some people who cannot board. We need to write a query to find the last person uh, that can fit onto the bus without exceeding the weight limit. Uh, the also the question also says that the, the test cases are generated in, in such a way that the first person will not exceed the weight limit. So let, let's try to look at an example to, to understand what could be our approach to solve this. So, um, so here's the input table. We've got four columns um, and the two important columns that we need to look at is the weight and the turn. So, so Alice is going to be the first person who is going to board the bus uh, because uh, her turn is one. So let's let's say Alice, uh, so Alice's weight is 250. So let's write that down here. The next person who is going to board the bus is, is the person who is at number position two. So that's Alex. So the, the after Alex boards the bus, the weight is going to be 350 plus Alice's weight, that's 250. And the, so the total would be 600. Uh, and if we if we sort of uh, continue this exercise at position three, we are going to have John. So the total weight would become thousand. And at this point, we have reached the maximum limit uh, that the bus can that the bus can hold. So the the next person uh, who's at position four is Mary. So any weight addition to uh, uh, in addition to thousand is going to exceed the the maximum weight limit. So the result that we need to um, uh, that we need to produce is uh, we would need to return this position the person who is at this position and that's uh, John so that's John here so so let's see so so the task that we need, we would need to do for this problem is uh, the first important thing is to we would need to remember to sort the the turn so we would have first and then second then third and and so on so it has to be in ascending order the weights need to be uh, added in an ascending order of uh, of the turn and yeah and and obviously we need to find a cumulative weight so to do that let's start writing the query so let's say select star and again if you have watched any of my videos i always suggest to use star as as a placeholder so select star from q i'm gonna say I'm going to keep all the columns. So let's say we, we want all of these columns and we're going to create a new column. And since we want the cumulative weight, I'm going to say some weight followed by the over clause. And since we want the cumulative weight, I'm going to say rows between unbounded preceding and current row. So what does this mean? So this, when I say uh, I uh, rows between unbounded preceding and current row, I'm trying to say I want to calculate the Q, I want to calculate the cumulative weight. I'm going to calculate the cumulative weight between all the rows that have come before the current row up until the current row. So, so at this position, the cumulative weight would be calculated as all rows before the weight of at all rows before this. So that's zero plus 250. So that's 250 at position two. I would need to, the weight would be calculated as 350. Uh, so that's the current row plus all the rows that have come that have preceded that one, the current row. So that's 350 plus 250. And, and this is how the process would, would go on. So that's the way to cumulatively calculate the weight in this question. Also an important thing to remember is we have to sort this in ascending order of the turn. So I'm going to say order by turn and let's, let's alias this as total, right? So let's just run this and see what we get. Okay. So what we've got is is the cumulative weight right at, e at each each point so the if you see the turn is sorted in ascending order so alice goes in first with 250 then you have 250 plus 350 which is 600 then you have 250 plus 350 plus 400 which is 1000 
and so so we've 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 completed the most important part of this question now what's left is to find the position where the the weight is the the cumulative weight is just below 1000 less than or equal to 1000 so it's at this position so this is what we need to return this is this the person's name at this position is what we need to return so to do that i am going to create a common table expression and i'm going to say select start from okay so select start from c common table expression so this is our ct right now and uh, what i want to do is let's say if i want to first let let me order by total in descending order so what that will do is it will it will it will give me uh the 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 order would now be in descending order of total and an important condition is to say where the total is less than or equal to thousand so let's see what this gives us okay so if you see here now it's it's uh it starts with thousand so all the rows before this where um you know things like 1200 and all of this after that have been removed because we have put this condition and we have we have only the rows which which have a weight total cumulative weight of less than or equal to thousand so all we need to do is return the top the first or the topmost uh, row from this this table so all i need to do is say limit one so this is going to return that first row um, that we really need and i want the person's name so i'm just going to say person's name here and i think that should that should be good perfect so let me try submitting it and i think this should work great so the the runtime is really good memory is really good so yep yeah, this is how you solve the question uh, the important thing here is to understand this concept is to is to know to use to to know how to use rows between unbounded preceding and current row so this is the very important point uh, with this question so thank you everyone